So the Metaverse Festival is part of the Arts and Humanities Research Council Being Human Festival, which is a place where people can think about the future, come to terms with how technology is changing their lives and decide whether they want it or not, which is a big part of what we're discussing today. How will virtual reality take us into a world which is completely different? Human festivals taking place across England over the entire week with events happening all around the country. And the University of Salford is hosting a number of these in our buildings and around over the entire week. It's going to be a great chance for people to meet researchers that are trying to think through how technology is changing our lives. Life in the Metaverse event is a way for people to explore virtual reality, which everybody's heard of, but many people haven't really tried. And what we want to do is really give them a chance to experience what it feels like to be in virtual reality and imagine their future. It's a bit like 20 years ago, getting a mobile phone and thinking, what will that look like in 20 years from now? And that's what we're doing today, giving people a sense of what that future will feel like, what it will mean to relate to people in a virtual reality, and also imagine themselves being able to travel the world through VR, perhaps rather than planes. So it's really a chance to think about the future. I'm Keith Mize, I'm the CEO of AV Immerse, content creators for breathtaking immersive experiences using XR technology. And today I'm here at Salford University, show showcasing our next piece of immersive tech, which is Space XR. Space XR is a prototype that took us a few months to develop for children who wanted to learn about space. So it's very much allowing you to go and explore the solar system, to go and navigate different worlds. There'll be a reason why you put the VR headset on in the first place. Otherwise, what's the point? I think that's the strength of the medium, is to allow you to be somewhere else. And this is why we use immersive technology to craft experiences to take people on journey. Yeah, it's just been a really good opportunity to come and uh, try all these different headsets. It's hard to sort of get access to, especially with the price range, but it's enough for me to come along, try these out, see how I like them, see which sort of apps and sort of games and things that I like to play, how they sort of adapt to the VR.